Hi everyone, it's Nina. We're gonna get started in a seated position. So place your hands on your knees, closing your eyes, and just getting comfortable in this position. This is a very slow, relaxing yin class for anyone experiencing any type of burnout. If you have a lot on your plate, or maybe you've committed to too much, or you just need a moment to rest, this class is exactly what you need. So we're begin going to begin just by coming into the body, coming back to the breath, and begin to shift your attention to the breath, coming in and out of your nose, taking long, slow, deep breaths, tuning everything out that is external of you and allowing yourself to go inward, to set down any worries that you may have and come back into your body and see what it's saying to you. Maybe it needs a little bit of rest, a little bit of love or some kind words. So give yourself these next few moments to be in the stillness to see what comes up and to give yourself a little bit more love. start to bring your hands together rubbing them together and you're going to place them just below your belly button on your sacral and just imagine an orange light radiating out and your sacral replenishing itself with energy we're just going to sit in this energy of regeneration within the body allowing the light to continue to expand out further and further as you take long slow deep breaths Continuing to relax the entire body and allow yourself to receive. And begin to open your eyes, take your hands onto the ground, and come into a tabletop position. The flat back, maybe moving your hips from side to side. And lift your chin and your chest up, and on an exhale, round through the back. And inhale, lift the chin and the chest up, and exhale, round. Inhale, lift the chin and the chest up, and exhale round. Inhale, lift all the way back up. And exhale round through the upper and the lower back. Inhale, lift up. And exhale round. And inhale, lift up. And exhale round. Feel that stretch through the whole spine. And inhale, come back to center. You're going to take your knees apart and your heels together. And you're going to start to shift your hips back onto your heels with your arms in front, coming into child's pose. If the option of bringing your knees together feels a little bit better for you, you can do that. Or if you'd like to bring your arms by your sides with the palms facing up, kind of coming into this little ball or fetal position that feels comforting and nurturing for you. Just take the position that feels really nurturing and kind to your body, allowing it to rest and just sink into the ground, allowing the earth to hold you in this relaxed state.
remembering to come back to your breath to anchor you in any of the postures that we move through today. just tuning into the body, seeing where there might be tension or stress, and see if you can relax a little bit more into this. So they bring your hands up, walking your hands forward, we're going to lower all the way down onto our bellies, coming into a sphinx pose. So bring your elbows and shoulders in line with each other your hands about shoulder width apart. You can hang out here and gently pull the chest forward, keeping that chin nice and lifted. Or if it feels even better for you to drop your chin down and possibly even shrugging your shoulders down. So feeling a little bit of a deeper stretch in your shoulders. So find the position that feels the most comfortable and relaxing to you and enjoy the stillness that this posture is bringing you in this moment. And sinking a little bit deeper if you can, relaxing a little bit deeper. And we're slowly going to come out. We're going to reach that left arm forward and thread that right arm underneath, turning the palms to face up, coming into the shoulder stretch. If this is too intense, you can lift that right hip up or maybe put a pillow under that right hip. So determine the intensity for this stretch. There's no right or wrong. And just allow yourself to soften, finding those deep, long, slow breaths. And just tuning into your body maybe asking where it needs a little extra love and breathing a little bit deeper into those areas. mind starts to wander, again, just come back to your breath, putting your attention on the air coming in and out, and finding stillness in your body. And slowly begin to make your way up and out, reaching that right arm forward and threading that left arm underneath with your palm facing up, maybe putting a pillow or lifting that right hip up this time if this stretch is a little too intense so take your variation there's no right or wrong this is a time to tap in and listen to your body and ask it what it needs getting a little bit more settled in here and allowing the body to melt into the earth allowing the healing to happen in the stillness.
slowly begin to make your way up and out. You're going to take your hands by your chest and slowly push yourself up and come onto your shins, tucking your toes under and sinking your hips back onto your heels. We're just going to start by massaging our shoulders a little bit after that stretch. So you can close your eyes, make your way all the way up and down your arm into your shoulder, giving a little bit of love on one side. Maybe rolling your head forward and back, feeling the stretch in your neck, and moving to the other side, going down your arm, feeling the stretch in the side of your neck and the back of your shoulder, giving a little bit of attention to this area of your body. And release your hands, shake them out a little bit, place your hands on the ground, and just drop your hips down to the side. We're gonna make our way into deer pose. So you're gonna make a 90-90 position with your legs. You can play around with bringing your heel or your leg in a little bit closer, or maybe bringing your shin closer. So find your variation. And you're gonna to start to lean over that front shin. If this is too intense, you can take a few moments to Find a position that feels good for you, maybe using a pillow underneath the hip. And we're just looking for a gentle stretch here. So wherever you are at, just relax. Sink forward. And lean a little bit more deeply into the breath, coming in and out. and just find softness in this posture. And slowly begin to make your way up and out. We're just gonna lean back and lift the knees up and then turn over to the other side in finding the position that feels best for you. Maybe bringing the back heel in close and the front heel in close. Lifting up and then leaning over that front shin. Taking a few moments here to get settled Maybe flexing the toes if that feels good to you. Or finding a pillow underneath the hips. Allowing yourself to settle in and to relax a little bit deeper here with every single breath. Allowing yourself to surrender, giving your body this time and this stillness to regenerate. And give yourself this time to be in the stillness without having to do anything. Start to lift your head and come all the way up. We're gonna make our way into a seated position with our legs out in front, knees bent. And just like our shoulders, we're gonna take a gentle massage for our hips. So just kind of explore the area of your hips right now, gently massaging the front and the back and the sides, finding any tight or tender spots and just breathing deeply into those areas. Closing your eyes and enjoying this nice massage. And when you're done, we're just gonna lower all the way down onto our backs. We're gonna bring our heels in a little bit closer and then drop our knees out to the side, 
coming into a reclined butterfly, bringing your hands together, rubbing them and creating some heat, and then placing just below the belly button over top your sacral, giving yourself this relaxed moment of continuing to regenerate that sacral, regenerate that energy within the body. And finding stillness here. And just slowing down a little bit more and finding your breath here. Just a few more deep breaths here, surrendering a little bit more. And gently bring your knees together and extend your left leg as you bring your right knee into your chest, reaching in front of the knee, giving it a nice hug, maybe rocking it from side to side, just anything that feels good in this posture. And slowly release the right leg down and hug your left knee into your chest. Repeating this on the other side, maybe moving your knee from side to side. Anything that feels good. Bring your right knee into your chest to meet. Hugging both of your knees and just gently rock from side to side. And slowly release your legs down. And bring your hands by your side with the palms facing up for Shavasana. We'll be here for the next minute or two. So allow yourself to just relax and come into receiving mode of receiving this energy in this place of stillness and relaxation. Putting your attention on any remaining tension or stress within the body, breathing deeply into it and allow it to just release and let go as you melt into the mat deeper and deeper.
Begin to bring movement back to your fingers and toes. Lifting your arms up over your head. And slowly begin to make your way onto the side of your body, gently pushing yourself all the way up into a seated position. Bring your hands to your knees, close your eyes. You're gonna begin to take a big circle with your arms, lifting them up towards the sky and exhaling. You're gonna push those hands down. So one more time, bring the palms facing up, circling all the way up towards the sky and exhale, pushing the hands down. Begin to rub your hands together, generating some heat. And then place your hands just below the belly button. Feeling the heat and the regeneration of the sacral, allowing yourself to feel maybe a little bit more energized and rejuvenated after this gentle practice. Finding that stillness within your body and just imagining that orange light begin to grow bigger and bigger and bigger until it fully encompasses your entire body. Giving thanks to your body for being able to heal and rest during this practice. Bring your hands to your heart center. Thank you all for joining me. Namaste.